Hey guys, welcome to creatingtracks.com. In the last part, we made this drum beat right here. So let me solo that and check it out. So I removed those notes right here because I just wasn't liking them. But then we also made this other pattern. All right, so for this video, we're gonna make a new pattern and we're gonna base that off of this specific pattern. So what I'm gonna do is let me just hold down navigate and zoom out. And you can see I have all these notes. So I'm gonna select all of my notes by coming down over here, holding down select and then selecting all. Now once I've selected all, I can go to copy on my machine. So I'm gonna hold down copy. But if in your machine it's on some different pad, you wanna hold down shift and hit that pad. So I'm gonna hold down copy and then I'll go to pattern select an empty pattern and you can see once I hit this it's going to create a new pattern on my screen and then I can do paste and when I hit paste you can see that it gets pasted pretty weird and the reason is that I didn't have my kick drum selected I had this other pad selected so what I'm going to do is undo that I'm going to go back to my other pattern which is pattern one select the kick and then I'll select all copy those and I'll go to pattern three hit paste and now you can see everything is pasted perfectly and now I want to add this new sound right here. So I'm going to add all these sounds, but first I'm going to hold down record or hit record. And then I'm going to hold down shift and hit record for count in. And what I'm going to do is instead of even just recording, if you don't want to do that, you can select all your snares right here and then alt click one of the snares and drag it down to your clap. And this way, when you play it, But what this does is it kind of makes it similar to the snare and it doesn't give it too much of a dynamic variation. So what I usually like to do is record it all over again. So I'm gonna hit record, shift and record, and let's go. All right, so I'm gonna hold down shift and quantize and that's gonna quantize at 50%. And you can see it quantize a lot of other things that I didn't want. So I'm gonna select only my claps and shift and quantize. And that's gonna bring it 50% closer. And you can do it shift and quantize again if you want. So I can select this over here and bring down this little volume knob right here, which you can't see. You can also select all your notes and bring down their velocities over here to make it softer. Okay, cool. So let's add some rides. And what these rides are going to do is help us uh, expand our chorus a little more. It helps the drop sound a little bigger. So check it out. And if you find your notes to be low in volume, some of those, it's probably this velocity right here. So I'll increase that, select this, increase this velocity. All right, and to add this crash right here, we can double click on the first note and there it is. All right, and over here, let's double click, add another crash and I'll bring down the velocity. So it's still there, but very soft and just helps add a little more variation to it. And then I can alt click and drag these around and bring down their volumes accordingly. So I'm just double clicking and adding crashes and reducing their volumes just to give some more variation. So check this out. All right, cool. So what we can do with this hi-hat pattern is if you don't like this, you can delete it, record a new one. But if you do like this, 
what you can do is copy this whole pattern. So I'm going to go to my first sample inside of this pattern and make sure that I'm copying all my notes. So I'm going to go to kick drum right here and then select all. And then I'll hit copy pattern. On pattern, I'll hit copy. And then I'll go to a new pattern. So pattern, new pad, and then paste it. And then we have this right here, which we can delete and add our own pattern. So I'm going to do 16th notes this time. Turn on note repeat. Uh, last time we had a lot of eighth notes. So I'm going to do 16 this time. So check it out. All right, and I also forgot to quantize these rides. So I'll hold down shift and quantize and... All right, cool. So you can have a lot of different variations this way. You can create one pattern, copy it to a new one, add some things, copy it to another one, remove some things and just keep experimenting with your own ideas. And definitely use the note repeat function. It's pretty useful for hi-hats and other stuff. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you next time. Peace.